Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video we're going to be looking at hovering again and the reason we're looking at hovering again is in the last video we looked at keeping the quad in one place and what this teaches you is if you practiced it a lot and you got to the point where you could keep the quad very reliably in the little small circle of blue cones that was in the last video then what it's taught you is to react negatively to what the quad is doing. What I mean by that is if the quad goes to the right you automatically put in a stick control to stop that from happening. So you're reacting negatively or in the negative sense to the direction that the quad is moving in to arrest it and keep it still. And whilst that is a really really good skill to learn what it doesn't teach you is to put the quad where you want it to guide the quad to a place and then keep it there and then guide the quad to another place and then keep it there and actually what you discover is that you feel that you've really mastered this hovering business and you can keep the quad still and then someone says hey go and hover over that spot and then go and hover over that spot and you suddenly find that really really difficult to do so what we're going to concentrate on now is how you migrate from this reacting negatively to the quad to actually putting in positive commands to get it to go where you want it to go and then stay there and then put in positive commands to get it to go where you want it to go and then stay there and that is what the larger circle in the quad training exercise is there for so we have the blue circle in the middle which is for learning to kind of keep the quad still so um, let's get this quad yeah so we've got the quad in the blue circle and just trying to calm it down and there we go trouble is you look at the circle and then you lose control of the quad so this is much harder than it looks but yeah you get the idea so we've learnt that one now what we want to do is say okay we're now going to hover over this purple cone here we're going to guide the quad to that purple cone and then we're going to go to 12 o'clock so I now need to go off over here guide my quad off over there find where the purple cone is over there at 12 o'clock hover over that and then say okay now I want to come away from that one and go over here to 3 o'clock so guide my quad over there to three o'clock and then kind of hover over that and then say okay now, look, now let's go to nine o'clock let's guide my quad over to nine o'clock okay and now let's try and fly around the circle so now I want to guide myself you can see this is really quite hard guide myself around the circle in a hover with a racing quad which is super sensitive and super powerful and reacts very very quickly so you've got to be really careful on the sticks and we're looking to just guide ourselves in the hover around this whole circle flying over the top of each cone there we go nice over the top of that one over the top of that one over that one and I've got to go forward a bit over that one back to where we started so this kind of guided hovering where you're trying to push the quad where you want it to go will take your stick controls to the next level and start getting you into putting the quad where you want it rather than just reacting negatively to what it's doing and keeping it still and you can do that as I say with this larger circle of, of cones so you just pick numbers for yourself and say okay so I want to go to one o'clock so in a hover we go off we go let's go to one o'clock and then you say okay now I've made it to one o'clock let's go to eight o'clock Yeah, and so on so you're just giving yourself a challenge after challenge after challenge then try flying around the circle going over each cone and so on and that will give you the controls in the hover for guiding the quad where you want it to go rather than just keeping it still okay that's it for this video 
and I'll see you on the next one.